You know, CSU leads in sustainability and is renowned for that in the research and like the academia world. And, and rightly so, so much of that is due to the students that are at the roots of this university. Like that is, that is us putting in the work. I don't think a lot of student bodies in this world can really say that they put the amount of energy and heart into it that we have. A lot of the, the climate initiatives as a whole on this campus were started from you know, these ideas that students originally had. The funding of Lori Student Center arrays are, are a really fantastic example. The, the nitrogen footprint accounting project on our campus, that was a student project. We are a solutions-focused place. We are a solutions-focused student body. The projects, the initiatives, the efforts that students put on on a campus like this and, and all across the world, these little projects add up. Like if I woke up every morning and I was like, I'm gonna reinvent the solar panel. That's impossible for one person to do, but I can go to the beehives and I can lay down some mulch or like plant some, some flowers. So I am the vice president of the Apiculture Club, or the Beekeeping Club, and we are currently working on a proposal. Uh, we're looking to get funding for a new pollinator garden that's going to encompass the, the beehives that are uh, just outside of the Horticulture Center. So that would include plants that are native to the area and that attract the right kind of bees, if you will. In terms of the sustainability that CSU is a part of, I think students are a huge role. I think the biggest reason I came to CSU was just their emphasis on sustainability. I'm a part of the Student Sustainability Center, the Zero Waste Team, and I'm also helping out Adam Vance from ASCSU try to get composting in the LSC. And because the LSC is such a large area with so many different companies selling food, it can be a little bit difficult to separate the food from what can be composted and what can't be. One of our biggest things is to educate the students, get them excited about compost and explain how that is just such a much better alternative than throwing away all this food. The Student Sustainability Center is interesting because I, I think we have a niche of a student organization that's more like grassroots. We're kind of like a project incubator. We are now in the process of creating an entire initiative around textile and clothing recycling and reducing clothing and textile consumption on our campus. It's called the Patchwork Initiative. Textile and clothing is the second most polluting industry in the world behind oil and gas, um, which is an insane metric to have to face. But as a campus and as a group of students, we have the ability to really start small and actually find a way to address that. The reality of why sustainability is an issue that's fallen in on our generation is it seemed overwhelming, it seemed insurmountable, and that means that people are afraid to do the small things. It's not going to be this globally sweeping thing. It's going to be the blood, sweat, and tears of, of students who think big enough to know how intense the issues are, but are humble enough to start small.